We are live on a Wednesday. We are live on a Wednesday. We're so alive. Trace Green a show energy on a Wednesday. Flow. Trace Green a show. The energy flow show. <laughs> Hi everybody. Oh yeah. What is this thing called energy anyway, huh? That's what we're going to talk about. Energy. What it is. What it is. And what it ain't. And what it isn't. <laughs> because it's a big topic that's yes. so misunderstood by so many people. And it's such an important topic because energy is everything and everything is energy. Energy is everything. It's a common theme around here. Here they come. Hi, Jackie. Yeah. Hi, Pat. Hi, Bonnie. So you guys know we, we try to have fun. Yes, we do. And be silly for a few busy. minutes. And we wait. We don't wait. We don't wait. We but we're waiting. letting we're letting the <laughs> algorithm say, hey, psst. Hey, Trispina show starting come on, come on, on a come on, different come on. day today because right. we rescheduled a flight. Yeah. Uh, we are going to San Diego for our mastermind Hasta group. Mañana. Yeah. And the flight changed. And due to the flight changing. Life happens. So you go with the flow. We were gonna go live from this really cool, like oh, old classic hotel. That's true. But I tell you what, we'll do. We'll we'll let, we we're gonna, gonna go. In? We're gonna go live anyway from this hotel because I just want you to see it. It's called the U.S. Grant in the Gas Lamp, San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. We're gonna do that. Cool. So anyway, it'll be in front too, but we'll show you around one of our favorite hotels in San Diego. And you know what's great. Okay, I gotta give you the skinny before before skinny. we get into energy. Skinny from the skinny. So do it. Do you know? You know, Amazon owns almost everything in the world, but what they don't, <laughs> Marriott has, <laughs> and Marriott has consumed so many hotels. So if you're a Marriott gobble, Rewards gobble, member, Marriott. this is just a little tip for you, and you collect points. It's a really good thing to do because I just got notification. You don't even Get know this. Get out of here. You don't even know this. They She's said, a they were like, online you have offer. three nights of a sweet upgrade. Do you want to use them now? And I was, I was actually Did talking to you. Upgrade to, it? I didn't because this is like a, a maybe yeah, it's, it's, hard a, to it's a quality in me. At an upgrade. <laughs> so because you're a Marriott's reward member, when you check in, they try to upgrade you. But this was like upgrade you to a suite. But at like, we were kind of different in this way, and I'd love to hear how you are. Like, I bet at Easter, did you get an Easter basket with candy? Yes, of course. Did you eat Chocolate it? Chocolate egg, of course. Okay, I didn't. I saved it. I was always saving and saving it. I saved it so long it would go bad. And the same thing when the the Thanksgiving that I got the wishbone out of the turkey, I wasn't sure I had the just right wish, and so I put the wishbone. I wrapped it up and I put it under my bed as a little kid and I waited for just the right wish when I would break the wishbone, but unfortunately the cat found it oh. and ate the wishbone and I never got the wish. The cat got the wish. The cat got the wish. The cat got, ten got the wish. Wow. Bonnie says that that's a haunted hotel. Now Sabrina's going to be scared. No, I'm not. You're not? You no. talk to the ghosts? Oh, I'll talk to those you people. Did. What's going on? Time for you to move on. Come on now. Or, or either either move on or come or, on strong. I'm okay either way. Yeah, you can party. All yeah. right. So energy. It's a beautiful topic around here. We like to say energy is everything. And uh, we're going to let you uh, meet one of our energy mascots right now. His name is Mr. Winston. And some of you haven't met the puppies, so this is an opportunity to meet. Uh, I've nicknamed him Yogananda. If you remember when Yogananda had those long locks of hair, so his nickname is Yogananda, but typically he goes by Winston or Winnie, and, and Winnie Pooh, Winnie Poo Poo. And he's he's a very mama's boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a serious <laughs> mama's <laughs> boy. Loves mommy. Wants mommy to hold him during the show today. It seems. So, anyway, energy in the mornings. <clears throat> Winston stands outside the shower, uh, my shower time, and he knows that he's going to get an energy massage. So what I do is I get my hands filled with energy, and we're going to talk about that a little After bit today. After the shower. After the shower, because I always say a shower, the hot water, we talked about showers, how I love my hot showers. I find that being in water, being you know a, a cancer sign, growing up surfing, I get into this flow. Obviously, water is a flow, but it's a conductor of energy. Mm -hmm. When I get out of the shower, I feel pretty lit up, and he, animals sense your energy, right? Many of you have told us 
your oh, yeah. animals. They feel your energy. They come, they sit on your feet. They rub yeah. up against you. Yeah, if you're going he through waits. the uh, five-day energy challenge with us next week, definitely have your pets in the room with you. Oh, totally. You can just freak out how they, <laughs> they run around your They're ankles. So they want to sit on your lap. So he comes, and he's literally just sitting there waiting, and he knows he's going to get an energy massage. And so in the morning, that's what we do, and we work on his spine, and we get his joints and his muscles, but then we do just hands-on healing, and then I gently stroke the energy through his body. And uh, he's, what is he, 10? 9 or 10? Nine. He's 9 he's years old. He'll be 10 in October. Everyone thinks August. he's a, a puppy. I think he's just got really, really good energy, <laughs> and yes. he loves being connected. <laughs> So that's the pure innocence of energy looking right at us. That's another thing about energy that we'll talk about today is how it taps you into a state of innocence because it's bringing you back to your original nature, yeah. right? So we, we just announced just hours ago that we weren't going to have an energy expansion event this year, but some things fell into place. Some uh, partners reached out and said, are you guys doing one of those energy events? And we were like, no, can you, can you? Okay, <laughs> and we decided we to make energy. it an energy challenge. And let me tell you the difference in the two. The, the, the energy expansion event is unbelievable. And if you've attended, definitely pipe in the comments, let us know what you think. And everyone loves it. But each day can stand alone. With the energy challenge, what we're hoping to do and what we are going to do what we're doing. is build day one plus day two, right? plus day three, plus day four, plus day five. So it's going to be cumulative building. Why? Right. Because we want to really reset and reboot that energy set point. And it takes uh, consecu cumulative. consecutive and yeah. cumulative practices to do that. Right. So some of the questions people have been coming in, Winston's much heavier than he thinks he is. <laughs> than he looks. Than do you want looks? me to hold him? Okay. <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> He's probably like 13 pounds. You little guy. <laughs> Aren't you, baby? <laughs> um, right. So they say, is it, are you talking physical energy, physical right, vitality? energy. Yeah. To me, the answer is yes. When I think of energy, I think about I wake up, I feel good, I have plenty of energy to go through the day. I don't struggle to get the day done. I don't struggle to get my tasks done, that as long as I'm drinking water and sleeping good and moving my body, I have plenty of vital life force energy. And she eats healthy too. Yeah. And then uh, I'll just tell you everything that's coming in. Is this going to help me heal? Well, you should really speak to that. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely talk about how there's a couple of layers to energy, right? There's the way that energy moves itself through the body. And then, of course, there's the energy that is more of a, a metabolic energy. So when we talk about energy, we're usually talking about vital force, what the yogis call prana, uh, what the Chinese call chi or ki in the Japanese traditions. We're talking about life force and it's the energy that animates all of life. I was mm -hmm. driving home today and I stopped at a sign and I saw the leaves of the trees and the branches were moving and I thought, you know, if I didn't know what wind was, I'd wonder what's moving the branches. Because right. to the naked eye, you can't see wind, mm -hmm. and yet it's what's animating that right. movement of the tree branch. You see, feel the effects of it. And that's the same with life force. You know, there are some who say they can measure it. There are some who say they can see it. And there are some who say it's a bunch of foo-foo, <laughs> right? I feel it. But the results of energy are that you and I are being breathed right now. Mm -hmm. You and I are healing. We're digesting our food. The planets are spinning and rotating in perfect orchestration. Like everything is based yeah. around this universal energy. So the yogis and the ancient wise ones, they discovered there were ways to tap into this life force and move it through and then translate it into the physical body, which we would call energy. And our scientists today would say, well, that's in the cells and in the mitochondria. And therefore it's converted into something called ATP and that's what you get from food and it's what gives you sustenance. Well, yes, yes, and yes. But what's the source behind that source? That's what we're talking about when we're talking about energy. Right. And let's say for a second what we're not talking about, right? Because the title of this episode is energy, what it is and what it isn't. Well, what it isn't is sometimes it's confusing that people think energy is this 
hyper energy, this yeah, manic energy. Stimulated. But when we're talking energy, we're talking about aligned energy in a state of flow. Right. So not only does it help you really crush it in your workouts or, <laughs> or heal yeah. or be able to get movement back in your joints. And in a minute, we're going to talk about how energy helps you maybe get rid of issues that are stuck in your tissues because a chronic back pain or chronic inflammation can actually be due to a lack of energy flow. Block. But but true energy, true energy alignment also helps you sleep, mm-hmm. right? You're you're someone who, <laughs> is he getting tired or are you getting tired? <laughs> He's a little heavy. I know. <laughs> there <we> go, buddy. <laughs> it, so that... When you choose to, ah, I think I'll rest my body now, and you want to take a nap, you can. You're not caught up in this um, static, like sometimes we've, we've shown when you're changing the channels and you go to a channel that isn't coming in and it's just a bunch of static. Well, that that's energy that isn't coming in clearly, right? But when the, when the channel is pure, it, it's yours to direct where you want. If you want to direct it into meditation, yes. If you want to direct it into a good night's sleep, absolutely. You choose. It, aligned energy is when you get to choose where it goes. Absolutely. You know, the first time I felt energy, I didn't know that that's life force energy. I didn't know that's what was happening. Uh, I was a little boy, and I remember I would lay in bed at night, and I felt a little bit of a throbbing sensation in my forehead. Hmm. Didn't think much of it. I just thought that was an unusual f- sensation and that everyone had that. Well, it happened um, probably for about a year or so, as I recall. I was probably like seven years old. And then it went away. You were in England? I was in England, a little boy in England. And then later in life, I, I heard about energy. You know, I-, I saw energy in the ocean. I saw energy in the waves. I saw it as a very physical experience. But nothing that was what we might call subtle energy or um, this more intangible energy. It was very physical, right? Punch, that's good energy, son. Keep hitting harder. Good power, good energy, good spirit, right? But then I started practicing yoga and yoga meditation in particular. And I had an experience where this area here was facilitated to open. And I felt that same sensation that I felt when I was a young boy. And it was this yin tong point, some call the third eye. We call it the mu shin point. It's a point of stillness and that it can open up. And I felt that starting to buzz and swirl again. I had the association. I felt that when I was a little boy. Mm-hmm. What is that? I didn't know it was energy. Yeah. I had heard some terms like in the yogic tradition, they called it shakti. And then I heard you talk about energy going from the base of your spine up your back. Do you mm-hmm. want to talk about that? Because that was pretty bizarre for you. Yeah, it was just from from meditating. You know, I've been a spiritual seeker, and I think that so many of us that are seeking uh, techniques, modalities, energy is because we have suffered. We, as a child, I, I felt. I I had a lot of stress. I was really hard on myself. I was looking for ways to feel peaceful. I was looking for ways to feel really great about myself. So that's how I got into meditation is, can I, can I just stop my thoughts for a minute? Stop beating myself up. Stop trying so hard. Stop trying to overachieve and let go of the stress. So I started uh, meditating and breathing very similar to the way that we do in our program called The Art of Mushin, which we will be teaching elements of during the five-day challenge. And I felt this, um, and what's beautiful is this happened to me at a time where I had no education about what is a chakra, what is a kundalini, what is this or that, I don't know anything. And that's the best. Yeah, I know it when really, you don't really have any is. Prefabricated ideas. And it, it felt like a, a hand reached at the top of my head, just down to the base of my spine, and lifted up the energy. Wow. And lifted it up like a whew. It it was fast. It was it was a rising of energy. And when that happened, um I would have described it as I, I couldn't hear well. And actually what I realize is 
it was the first time that I learned how to hear silence. Because mm. when you start hearing silence, when you're able to get into flow and really tap into aligned energy, silence is so loud. It's like being under the water or being in a vacuum or listening to a conch shell. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful silence. It's, it's loud and, and comforting. It's a, it's a roar of love. Wow. And I, 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 didn't, of love. I didn't know what that was. And so that was, that was what I experienced. I didn't know good or bad or, and then the, did it feel good? It felt good. So when you're having an experience, there's the experience happening. And then there's the personality trying to say, what the heck just happened? And right. trying to categorize it and then trying Identify to just describe it later. But I think in that moment, just like, um, sometimes you get the goosies, right? Somebody, maybe they're squeezing your shoulders and all of a sudden you get goosebumps. You don't know exactly how that happened or why, but all of a sudden, like the energy gets reset, right? That's what, that's a, that's a really good sign when you get the goosebumps that an energetic shift has happened. That's usually a really good thing when you, when you hear a story that's really inspiring and it, it peaks you emotionally like, oh, I love that. You might actually get goosebumps Absolutely. because energetically it, it feels aligned to something that you love. Well, these phenomena started happening to us. So we did end up going down the rabbit hole, if you will, of studying life force. And we needed to also for healing because my body actually went through some pretty intense stuff. And um, I felt very crippled for a long time, couldn't walk properly. And, and many of you have heard the story so I won't go into that but we studied but if you haven't it was a back injury that was crippling pain for about five years which was a big part of our it was a big journey. part of our healing journey and we went eventually deeply into the energy arts because we found that that's what was missing we were chasing the physical energy and physical solutions but once we realized there's another layer to this layer we realized we need to investigate this more. And so we're both very scientifically oriented. We probably would have become doctors in this life. <laughs> if I was pre-med, Sabrina would have been like some kind of surgeon or something. She just loves everything about the body. But we ended up going down this other path, which is more of a metaphysical approach to health and vitality. And we've poured our lives into this. So we're not saying this lightly and we just it wasn't like we went to a workshop on the weekend or read a book. Like this mm -hmm. has been our life. So we went down that rabbit hole of studying life force. What is it? How does it work? And a lot of scientific data isn't, hasn't been available. Yes, there's more scientific data today now than there ever has been, but it tends to be more on the physical plane. Mm -hmm. So it can get some of the things we're talking about could probably get rebuked, but it doesn't really matter because the scholar and the scientist are wonderful, but we also love even more than that is the experience and the mm -hmm. results that you can get if you yeah. practice something in the right way. Well, the healing results that people experience when they practice these energy arts are phenomenal. Even just, just from our, our students, absolutely will blow you away. But you can look at the scientific results from mindfulness and yeah. mindful practice. There's a lot. And the healing opportunities. I think a lot of it is practices that get you out of the way so that the body can do what the body knows how to do. The body knows how to heal. Right. And sometimes we block that. You know, we, we block that with all of our knowledge. But were you in the middle of something? I am. Okay. <laughs> That's totally cool. We have time. So I, I just want to land on this. What is this vital energy? What is this life force? This a swirling thing going on here. There's energy moving up and down her spine now. And I'm meditating and I'm starting to feel like a rocking sensation and a spiraling sensation through my spine. And this is a trip, right? Like what's, what's going on? How do we harness this in the right way? And when we first started studying energy, the art that was shown to us was to go up and to try to um, ascend above things that were of a lower vibration and go beyond our mind and beyond this physical plane and reach this state of nirvana if you will right and and that felt good for a while but then we ended up feeling very disconnected from this world and and this life and yeah. it, it wasn't working for us and so fortunately we came upon an art that helps you ascend but also stay grounded and that's mm -hmm. qigong and it's why we teach so much qigong it's such a right. beautiful practice but what we found was 
you can actually feel the chi between your hands. You can feel this electromagnetic energy. And that was the next satori, if you will, for me. It was like, oh, wow, I finally felt it. Now, I used to make fun all the time of martial artists that did Tai Chi and talked about this chi and Aikido energy. I just thought it was a bunch of foo-foo. Well, turns out I was wrong. Foo on you. <laughs> foo on me. And now who has the last laugh? I actually teach it. <laughs> but you can feel the life force between your hands. You mm -hmm. can feel it in different areas of your body. And I guess that was a long roundabout way of saying, yes, it's physical. Yes, you can feel it on a visceral level. But there are things inside of you, channels and centers and chakras that can get opened and aligned and you can facilitate that life force and it will get animated into your physical body. So if your physical body is suffering with fatigue or pain or, or lack of sleep, yeah, you're having even like disconnection with others because energy is everything, meaning your emotions yeah. are how you read your energy. So if your emotions are off and you're in a struggle or a fight and we can go as far as how it affects your abundance consciousness. If you upgrade your energy, you can truly upgrade the physical plane. Because That's what it, we're finding. it changes your thoughts. Yes. A lot your of attitudes. your your energy. When you can expand your energy, you can expand your vision. I would say for me, and it's all like what we bring to the table. But for me, expanding my energy. The most beautiful, beautiful part for me is the connection that I feel to wisdom right. and to intuition and the ability to trust and to just take a moment and say, wait a minute, what's aligned for me energetically? And even when I don't take a moment, just sometimes this random, hey, hey, I know is coming from an aligned energetic place. If let's say I have a thought like, mm, let's not go in there. Let, let's not walk that way. Let's walk this way. Let's go this route today. Those thoughts I know because I work on keeping my energy aligned are aligned with a higher consciousness rather than a paranoia. It's not like, don't drive down that street. That's where bad things happen. And in my life, I've had real experiences where three different times there was a potential attack on my physical body from three different men way in the past and I was able to run or escape all of them one time I actually had the rope around my neck crazy but I stories. had the premonition I felt them coming before they were there I was I had the thoughts of how to handle it if it happened which didn't make sense at the time so at the time you may think why am I thinking this this is silly and you just have to allow it. And the more you let your energy expand, especially thing. over like five days in a row, that's why we love this energy expansion challenge, you're gonna realize that when you're tapped in and tuned in to energy flow, your thoughts, your emotions, your actions, everything is aligned to the big you. The big, big. you, not really the fearful big. you, the big you, the, the big you that knows how to heal itself, the big you that isn't afraid, the big you that that has your back. And, and the big you, for me, the big me is the one that knows that I'm beautiful and doesn't beat me up and, and says, you know, you're you're really beautiful rather like than, the, than the small me that, wise, that, that says, you know, soul. so close. Just got to fix these few things. So you're talking yeah. about the ability to connect to intuition. Absolutely. That inner genius, that clairvoyance, that knowing. And what... Which is tied into success and prosperity and right, charisma. Right, because you know what to do. You take conscious action. I won't, remind me to talk about hustle in a minute because it's an interesting word. Because people will also say, oh yeah, are well, you just going to sit on your butt and visualize and just manifest everything and you're going to be prosperous? That's a bunch of BS. And part of that's true, but part of that's not true. So I want to address our take on that. Mm -hmm. But I just want to say that what she's saying to me is also really powerful because there are levels of intelligence within us that are beyond just thinking. Oh, yeah. That intuition you spoke of, Heart Math Institute has shown how the heart center 
has receptors and has the ability to communicate information to the brain that it actually receives information before the brain. Again, some people can say yes, some people will say no, whatever. You go with what your truth is. I'm going to always go with what I feel over what I think because my feelings mm -hmm. when I'm in alignment have never let me go wrong. They say follow your heart, trust your heart, follow your bliss. I do that. I run it by my thoughts always. But these energy centers, when they're aligned, they actually have the ability to give you information, knowing, wisdom. So you, you have this, I call it here, the brain of your being. When you really are tapped into heart center and you've got all your systems lined up and flowing, there's this amazing capacity where you know, like you know, like you know, it's beyond your thinking analytical mind. Yeah. And there's such a power in that level of knowing. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to talk about the hustle part just because... Well, I know why. Go ahead. Everybody's doing the hustle. Everybody's doing Have you doing noticed the that I fixed our camera? <laughs> that we haven't had one? I have. I'm not probably supposed to say it because then you... No, it's all good. So... I'm so happy. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I did a little research and, you know, that was part of my hustle. So I actually had been... Researching for a long time. <laughs> How do you do this? And then part of me was like, I can't figure it out. So in, in previous Trisbrina shows, the camera would go black for a second, the audio would stay, and we'd have to press a button to get it back. And sometimes it's just a little button, and it was one little button what? that I hadn't discovered one yet. One chakra. One chakra. But I had to do <laughs> some more. I didn't just visualize that the camera would just work and pray. Okay? Sometimes that <laughs> works, but not always. I had to make some phone calls. I had to do a little GTS. But maybe you visualized Google. and then you knew who to call. Maybe. It, so it, there is an alignment. It's um, what do you, ma matrix. We call it heart and hustle. So yes, listen to that heart that has the wisdom that says, hey, call this guy. And so I called a particular person. He was His awesome. name was Austin. And he was and really he was awesome. awesome. And he was awesome. <laughs> and he told me what to do. And I did it. And it worked. So there was heart, but there was hustle. And I think when it comes to energy and people talking about expansion, talking about manifestation, that you should embrace both. Like get yourself lined up, get yourself in flow, feel good attitude, and then get your ass in gear and do the work. We're going to talk about that too in our energy expansion challenge. Yeah. You've got to apply yourself. You've got to do the work. It's like with Qigong. Or fitness or anything, you gotta go to the gym. You have to get up and practice the moves. Don't just be a scholar. Don't just, oh, look at that. That is awesome. I love it. So, you know what? That means that we just hit 30 minutes. The camera has a 30 minute setting. Okay. Oh, Yay, it still worked. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I you wanna... gotta combine the two. Right. Yin and yang. Okay. I hope this isn't a tangent. If it is, let it be. Deal with it. Deal. Um, everything is what I think it is. What, everything is for me what I think it is. It's not like everything is what I think it is and you should listen. <laughs> not at all. If, if anyone says that, run as fast as you can. <laughs> and I'm becoming more and more aware and I'm really excited about this of what I say to myself and what I say out loud. Because everything that I say and everything that I play and hear is a prayer for more of it. So when I catch myself a gazillion times a day, as I'm sure you do too, saying uh, you know, I'm trying to do this these business things and grow and and, and just like with meditation and stuff in the past, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, all of a sudden I'm this business lady and we're running two companies. I'm like, yeah, go, let me Google how to do that and Google how to do that. There could be times that I just feel like, I don't know how to write copy. I don't know how to make an image. I don't know how to make that link show up in an email. And this sucks. And this is crap. And I'm like, whoa, I'm praying for more crap and more bull crap and more not knowing and I'm trying to shift it to um, I'm I'm so excited to be learning all these new things and I can even soften it and say that right now are really tricky but I know I'm gonna get the hang of it soon right because when I say something to myself and I don't believe it like if all of a sudden I go I so know HTML code <laughs> right like you so know. 
<laughs> my brain would be like, that's a little BS, Sabrina. But if I can soften it and say, you know, um, I'm so excited to be learning and expanding something I, I have no idea how to do. And I can't wait to be giggling and delighted that this is so easy for me once I learn the knack of it. Because that's what it is, right? Everything that's difficult just means I don't know how to do it. And everything that I know how to do, all of a sudden I'm like, well, that's easy. Have you ever had somebody, like, let's say Tristan, he's really good at, like, doing, like, webby stuff. And he'll, webby. like, he'll, like, have his little cursor and he'll go, you just go here and then here and then here and then open that and then swing that. And I'm like, whoa. And he's like, it's easy. I thought you were smart. And I'm like, yeah, but it's because you've done that dance routine a hundred times. So it's on muscle memory. That's right. I and have to so, get her to slow down on those steps. <laughs> right. Sailor shuffle, sailor shuffle, sailor shuffle. She breaks shuffle. it down and we can follow. So with energy, in order to shift the energy, thoughts, you know, right? right thoughts become things and thoughts have vibrations. Words, mm, I don't really think so. It's what I think the words mean. Yeah, what you turn them into. Right, the feelings, when I'm feeling frustrated with myself or feeling like my emails are too long um, or they're not funny enough. I wish I could put my personality into my writing judgments that I have on myself. It's the feelings that those have that I'm not good enough. So I'm finding ways to, ha I, I can't necessarily shift them 100% to, I'm a great copywriter, but how can I start shifting that so that the energy changes? And some of that is what we're going to be doing during the five day energy challenge is being aware of upgrading the emotions, upgrading the body, upgrading the flow, and hence upgrading the thoughts and the spiritual alignment. How do people come to the energy expansion? Well. Do you have a way to show them? Let the dog. Oh, look at you. You can go to, okay, just so you know, I had to write this backwards, so don't judge my <laughs> handwriting. It's satorimethod.com forward slash energy for the free five-day energy challenge. If you've attended before one of our energy events, you may already be in the Facebook group where we will deliver the free live classes, but you still want to we'll register so that you get the curriculum and you know what we're going to be doing each day. Awesome. Um, I was putting your comments on the screen. I don't know if you saw them, but thank you for all the great feedback. I love some of well, I love everything. Um, Sandy was saying, oh my gosh, I've been experiencing all the amazing effects of flowing life force energy during the last recent weeks. And she's been thrilled beyond thrilled. Oh, that's awesome. Thrilled beyond thrilled. Thrilled beyond thrilled. Do, do you see what that will do when you actually feel thrilled beyond thrilled? You're going to get more thrilled <laughs> because that's where your energy is headed. Joanna said sensei. Sensei is a term for martial art teacher. So we have some students here that are part of our Life Force Master Dojo. And Joanna said, remember to talk about the hustle. And I think I'll close my thoughts up on that. I love doing the work because it's not work. It's fun. It's not hard. There's a beautiful saying. I love this. It's never hard work when it's hard work. When you're coming from your heart, you're coming from your why, when you're lit up on purpose, you have all this drive and this energy, and so you go after it. I don't think it should feel like pushing a big rock up a hill. Yeah. That kind of hustle is not what we're talking about. We're talking about be lit up and go after it and have fun because that kind of energy builds upon itself. Yeah, baby steps. That's an aligned energy. So from heart to hustle is one and the same thing, right? Now, sometimes, I will be honest, there are days that I've got to push a little. Yeah because I made a commitment to get something done. Mm -hmm. And there's a part of me that sometimes is like, oh, right? But it's thoughts. Yeah, it is. It, it is that. But here's, <laughs> here's my fix. Here's my fix. <laughs> Remember why. And usually for me, what that why is, was a deal with the divine that I'm going to help others who are struggling get out of pain and suffering or expand their love-based business. So my why drives me back into flow. So we'll be talking about these things and yeah. unblocking energy that gets funked up that makes funky wonky thoughts that prevent you from yeah. feeling your why. Yep. Cool. I think for me, when I my energy is not expanded and I'm not aligned, hustle feels like I have a shovel and I'm digging a digging in the dirt. Thank you, Dig. Joanna. Dig. You're awesome. Dig. <laughs> 
But when I'm aligned, hustle feels like everybody's doing, doing a hustle. hustle. La, 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 la. Like there's a lightness <laughs> and there's a playfulness to the hustle. Hustle should never feel heavy. No. It should feel fun. It's just the action. It's the emotion and the the drive and the vision. And we're in human bodies and we want to be able to do. It's the doingness of what we love. Yeah. Well, thank you all for being with us and uh, hanging out on uh, a Wednesday Yay. instead of our normal Thursday. So we will check in with y'all from sunny San Diego. I think it's sunny. Is it sunny there, Bonnie, right now? And um, we'll show you the haunted hotel. <laughs> and uh, we're going to learn. Yeah, we'll do a little sale. We're going to <laughs> learn new things about how to expand this work in the world. So that's why we go on these trips, and then we come back and we continue yeah. to share the love. And the the five day challenge will start on Tuesday, the Tuesday. 30th, so Tuesday through Saturday. Awesome, awesome. All right, wait. Here we go. Oh. I still made it so that I had to put this over here. Oh, I don't know how to turn it back on. Ha ha. We were going to dance it, it only out. It only turns on with my face. Ha ha. <laughs> Oops, right. somebody's saying hi. Come on, give us some hustle love. Boom, boom. I'm wearing the yellow boom, sneakers boom. today. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Everybody's doing a hustle. Everybody's doing a hustle. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Much love.